Hey there guys, I'm Hello Japan, and welcome back to more Wind Waker. So, let's continue on. <laughs> Last time we got really, really lost and went to the wrong area to look for a treasure chart, or a Triforce chart, and I played the wrong song. Uh, we, went, we got really confused and went to the wrong area, and then ended up getting just one treasure chart. So, in this episode, I'm going to ho hopefully redeem myself and go to the, uh, the right areas. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so we are a little too far. Our goal is to go to the bottom left of this and the bottom right. So, since we're closer, we'll go to the bottom right first. And, uh, so we have to go, what, southeast? Okay. Yeah, at the end of the last episode, I, uh, I said that I might just end up there, but I decided it'd probably be a better idea just to start from where I was and just head over there. Uh, mainly because, for well, continuity's sake, or anything, you know, I don't like jump jumping around like that. Uh, it's been a little while <laughs> since I sat down and recorded, uh, and not, not a couple days, not like the, a couple weeks, like the last, you know, the last case was. Uh, a couple hours, I sat down and uh, had some pizza, salad and a pizza for lunch, for, for, for supper. Um, it's only 7.30 right now, so... Hopefully! Ugh. I'm not, <laughs> I don't fall asleep before then. Hopefully, we'll be able to finish this game today. But one thing that I need to do before I uh, go to Tingle's place... I need to uh, get more rupees because you need like 3,180 rupees or some odd number like that in order to, for Tingle to decipher every chart. So I might, uh, after I might find these two, I might call that an episode. I know these last two episodes have been pretty short, but I guess you guys don't really mind. <laughs> Uh, these last two episodes are probably going to be really short, because I'm going to go grind for some rupees, and, uh, yeah. Hopefully have enough to get all the treasure charts in one go. So it's another one of these rooms, huh? Okay, let me get my bow out real quick before you guys attack me. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I heard you. Huh? Oh man, I couldn't turn it. No, screw it. Let me go just get that right now. There we go, run! And then the last guy. Easy peasy, the lemon squeeze. Get out of here. Get out of here. So then let's just let's go across this way and uh, it was that was the entrance. Okay, let's get this one now. Oh. Uh oh, these guys shouldn't be that bad. There we go. Ah, <laughs> oh, they're looking for weapons. <laughs> Uh, where am I? Get my bearings straight. Let's go over to this one, and then we'll get that one over there last. I don't mind these areas so much. They're more wizard ropes. They're more annoying than anything. But no. Hey, look at my sail, guys! Look, it's nice, isn't it? It's actually nice to see the damage for the wizard ropes and how much health they have left. Is that it? Oh! I didn't know that was it. Hey, good for me. <laughs> uh, do that. Okay, one more. Why does it do that every once in a while? Clearing block cache? Is that like... 
Is it just clearing the cache because it's getting too full? I mean, what does it mean by block cache? Is it like, or does it just mean like, oh, block is in the uh, the memory. That's what the that's what Nintendo calls their memory. Why they do that, I have no idea, but that's what they call it. See, doesn't this thing give you a better idea of how many times you have to attack these people? There, so he's done now. That's perfect. And two dark nuts only? Is it two? Nice, it is only two. Haha, <laughs> sucks for you, dude. Boom! Oh, I tried to do backflip over it. It work. Ooh, get owned. What the heck? <laughs> what was that? Whoa! What in the world happened? God, rupees. These pillars give you rupees? I had no freaking clue. I'm gonna go bomb the crap out of all these pillars now. Wait, maybe I can just smack with my, uh, my hammer. That'd be a little bit easier. And champion's belt. Okay, so let's get the hammer. There we go. Oh my god, it does give you rupees. That's awesome. I had no idea. I'm actually... Ow. What the heck was that? That's cheap. That one, like, it's... Worded out... I don't like using that word. <laughs> it's sprayed out rupees, like... Like, oh my god, it's crazy. It's madness. Maybe it's just because he hit it. I, I don't know. It's strange. Pff, bombs. Pff. I need to off camera. I need to figure out a good way to grind because I mean I don't need too many more, but it's you know enough to be of an annoyance. Maybe I can go in and out. Uh, see, and that's the thing. It's like I don't want to keep going in and out of this room. At least with the. Uh, the, uh, the, the dungeon thing, not the dungeon thing, what's it called? The trial thing where you go down the floors, we, uh, the thing we did to get the treasure chart. At least with that, you know, you get a ton of rupees. I mean, this is kind of like, eh. But I don't know, I'll just have to look up online and see a good way to grind. I, damn it, I, <laughs> I have my phone sitting here, and I was going to start the timer to see how much time we had left when I was all done, but... This will, uh, I'm just letting you know ahead of time, this will probably be a pretty short episode. What's the point of even starting this time around? Stupid. Hey, we got a Triforce chart. And then the last one would be two blocks to the east. West. Yes. Okay. Let's get on out of here. No, but hang on, I am a little curious. If I go back down here... And I destroy the pillars... I wanna get my calculator out and just... Figure out something. Burn a little bit of time. <laughs> okay, calculator. How many rupees do I have down? Two, three, nine, nine? Okay. So let's knock a few of these things down. Kinda cool the red one to get twenty. It's quite a few. What weren't the uh, red ones in Ocarina of Time only worth five? If I'm not mistaken? Maybe the no I don't know. Cause the the values always change between well not not, it's not necessarily green ones have always stayed the same, but some of them have changed game to game. Like I know red ones are worth more in one and blue are worth more in another and it's just see this one gives you a ton of rupees. Uh, yeah. I'm just calculating the difference of doing this and see what's a, a semi-productive way of doing things. 
Okay, so two, six, three. I said nine. <laughs> you get a total of 233 rupees just by doing that. So if I do that several times, I'll be easily be able to get that. You know what? I'm gonna do that real quick because it's just it's gonna save me a lot of headache instead of having to go there and come back. So I'm gonna do that real quick, and then we'll be able to get all the Triforce charts from Tingle in this one episode. It'll just be better for everyone. But uh, so I'll be right back. Give me a minute. Yeah, I know you're looking, but there's... <laughs> See you in a minute. Okay. Hey there, guys. I'm back. So we have 3,211 rupees. That is just enough yep. to get Tingle to do all of the Triforce charts. I believe you need 3,184. I think that's how many you need. Where the heck is my boat? Yep. Where my boat go? Oh, there you are. Uh, yeah, I think you need... Ju it's like just over 3,100 to, uh, to do this. So, let's change the wind. It's actually a really good way of doing that because there was that one pillar. It did have tons and tons of rupees in it. So, what I did is I just went to that one all the time, broke it with the skull hammer, collected them all, went back into the uh, room that had the Triforce chart in it, and... I, uh, I destroyed the vase on the left, or on the right, that had a bunch of rupees in it. And I did that one, and I just did that over and over and over again. It didn't take too long, it took like five minutes maybe. So, I, I got a pretty big, uh, you know, I got a pretty high rupee count just from doing that. So if you are having the same issue I had, go ahead and try that. I mean, because that, that really worked for me. Try to get a couple more rupees this way. I don't know, I've never actually made it to the end of that. Oh, I jumped over it. I didn't mean to jump into that. Okay, so just keep going straight. I'm thinking. I know what we have to do now, I just don't know. I don't remember the circumstances. I just don't remember exactly uh, how it's gonna go down. If that makes any sense. Don't have to deal with those guys, I know that for sure. Yeah, I'm not even in the right area. Uh, it's this very last tile over here. But I, the one thing I do remember, I was going to talk about earlier, but I didn't, was the, uh, the new remake, the Wind Waker HD remake. I like the HUD. The HUD is really nice. Uh, very clean display up in the top right. Uh, with the new, you know, Wii U pad, and I'm hoping they do a lot of inventory management on the, uh, touch screen, because that would be awesome. Okay, so it's a little different than I thought it would be. Uh, you know what? It's actually over here. Yeah. This is one thing we do, but not yet. I think that's how you get, um... I think that's how you get one of the Triforce, uh, one of the Triforce pieces, is doing it that way, or is going to that island. But we have to sink that golden battleship right there. A golden battleship. I sunk your golden battleship. I have to sink that gold uh, ship right there. Shit. I don't know how many take. Or how many takes? How many hits it takes to destroy it, though? I'm guessing maybe double of the normal. That kind of makes sense. So I'm gonna take six. Uh, I'm not sure. Come on, reset. There we go. Two and three. Let's go over here. Maybe it takes the same. I don't know. I mean, but ah, uh, camera, work with me here, camera, camera. There we go. Two, three. Oh, only three. Okay. So, now we have to get our claw shot. Or grappling hook. I keep calling it a claw shot. I don't know why. Uh, put it away. Have to get that. Go right over here. And let's do some, uh... Let's 
Do some treasure hunting. I don't know if I've ever done this on camera yet. <laughs> Just staring at the orb. Uh, taking a treasure from the bottom of the ocean. That's what all those bright glowing circles have been around the ocean. That's just an area where you can go put your grappling hook down or your, your hook, your claw, whatever the thing's called, and bring treasure back up. Uh, get the Triforce chart. So, I believe that was the last one. Uh, let me double check with my iPad here. Got that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. And I believe we have eight now. We can also just <laughs> do that, I guess. <laughs> uh, charts. I always do that. I always do that. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Yes, we have all of them. Awesome. So now we have to go to Tingles. And I don't remember where Tingles is. Uh, where are you, Tingle? So he's. I hope we can teleport there. I think we might be able to. I, but, and regardless, even if we can't, we can just go to Windfall. Just right above it. Yeah, we because Tingle is right south of Windfall. So, not that big of a deal. Whoa! <laughs> because that orb was there, it's making him glitch out and bounce back and forth. That's kind of weird. Yeah, I think it's just clearing the ca the memory cache. I think that's all that means. Okay. I've never been able to get that chest over there. I think you might have to use the light arrows to get it. The one that's right behind him. That's all, like, see-through. See I've never been able to get that chest, and I think that's what it is. I see Tingle right down there. Yeah, I think you might have to shoot a light arrow with that. I, I have no idea. I've never figured it out. Uh, we have to go this way. And actually, we should probably change the course a little bit. It's more, uh, it's more southwest than anything. I think southwest. Yeah, it'd be southwest. It's like, it's like dead on southwest. It would take us forever to get over there. Uh, so let's go! Okay, I'll put the controller down and uh, get a drink. Uh, we ride on over to Tingle's place. And uh, I th I'm thinking, once we're done with getting him to read those charts, I think that we might uh, that we might call it quits for this episode. It might be a little bit longer than the last one. Um, maybe, I don't know. I mean, I, I took that break in, in between. I just let my audio roll while, uh, while I got that uh, those additional rupees. So I won't know how long this episode is until I'm done editing it. That's usually the case whenever I uh, record something. Is if I if I like, oh, I'm gonna, you know, stop here for a minute. I'm gonna stop here. Maybe, wait, is this the right area? Let's see where else it would be. Is this the? No, it's not. Shit. I hear you, jerk. Where the hell am I going? Oh wait, it's not. Oh wait, 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 it is over here. Hang on, it is over here. It's... I, I misread the thing. It's southwest of Windfall. So, I am going the right direction. Now to hear you shark jerk. Wait, am I? I don't remember. Oh, that's why I didn't recognize that the head hadn't rendered in yet. <laughs> I was like, this isn't the place. Okay. I just saw a tall object out in the distance and I thought, hey, that has to be tingled. Okay. So yeah, I mean, I wonder if the uh, X Xbox, yeah. I wonder if the GameCube uh, actual system could render it a little better, you know, Showing it out in the distance, I'm not sure. <sighs> but regardless, let's go. Slave labor, much? Jeez. Hey there. Oh, Mr. Fairy, I've been longing to see you, sir. What should we play? 
What do you want to play? What? You're not here to play? <laughs> mm, that fragrant, musty scent. <laughs> splendid, splendid. Show me, show me. Why? You can't read the chart? Uh, in its current state? Impossible, sir. Would you like me to decipher it for you? For 398 rupees? You jerk. Yeah. Taking all my money. You know, I'm gonna get out of here and change angles real quick before we give him another one to read. And we got a decipher chart. While we do that, I'm going to show you what it actually looks like. Uh, no thanks, not right now. Because I need to change angles. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah, it's a little better. Okay. Uh, yeah, so if we go look at the chart now. Oh. Where is it? Can I just open it? Oh, there, there we go. Oh, so we can open them right now, but he won't. They won't make any sense. Okay. So this, if you throughout the game had been getting that fish to write down locations on the map, this would be really, really, really easy. Seeing as I didn't, because one, I'm lazy, and two, that takes forever. I got a map of my own. <laughs> We're just gonna use that. Uh, because I'm pretty sure, actually, I know where they are, so it's not that big of a deal. Anyway, let's, uh, give him the rest of these. I just wanted a better angle <laughs> to see him do his little dance. So, <laughs> enjoy the next couple times we do this. <laughs> Look at him back there, he's like, oh. Uh, yeah, we have another one. It's, oh my god. There's only three. There's five after this one. <laughs> Hurry up. <laughs> Four more. Lean it back in my chair, just waiting for it to end. <laughs> How many more? Two after this one? Who is Price Gouder? He's taking all of our money. But yeah, the first time I did this, I did not have enough rupees to do it, and it was, uh, very sad. <laughs> I had to come back here multiple times, which isn't fun. Wait, do we have two more? Maybe it might have been a miscounting. Maybe I got way more rupees than we actually needed, I don't know. We probably have one more. hope we have one more. He's like, oh, you want me to decipher something else? Cost you 5,000 rupees. I would stab him with my, <laughs> my freaking sword. <laughs> Are we done now? Hmm. Mr. Fairy, I have marked the location of the Triforce Shards on your incredible chart too. When you open this chart by pressing Y on your C chart, the place where the treasure will shine forth. It always will. Uh, then just go to that place and rely on your chart to help you find the treasure. Oh, so I actually don't need my uh, iPad right now because he's saying... If I go to my incredible chart... Which C chart? What's the incredible one? Ah, right here. Ah, I see... That is the exact picture I've been looking at this whole time. So, pretty neat. Uh, yeah, those are the locations of the Triforce Shards. So, we got a lot of work to do. <clears throat> As you can see, some of them are in the same locations of uh, other charts. Well, I guess two, really. Uh, 
the one on the very bottom where we first started and then the one two blocks below us. I don't know where I'm going to start. I might start the, the first one where we started at and just kind of go from left to right and then up a row. So we'll go that one on the very second, not on the very bottom left, but the one just to the right of that. And then two to the right and then up one one low, one row and then over to the very end. I don't know. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But uh, actually, maybe I can just show you on here. Sure. Chart. Can't speak. So, mm -mm, come on. Okay, so we'll start here, and then we'll go here, and then here, and then here, 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 and then here. So that will probably be the order. It'll probably take us two videos, one if I'm lucky, more than likely it'll take two though. Uh, but honestly, I'll probably just jump around. <laughs> There's probably not going to be any order to it. I'm just going to jump around and try and figure out the best strategy for getting the... Uh... I'm stuck up here. Oh, no! Uh, find the best strategy for collecting those. Get down. You know you don't want to be up here. So, anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching. I've been Hello Japan. This has been The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. And, uh, we finally finished collecting the Triforce charts. Now we have to collect the shards, and then we are on to face Ganon. Well, a little bit of a dungeon before Ganon, but same idea. So I want to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time. See ya!